Whoa. Whoa. All right, we are back at Epic Adventure Outfitters, and you know what that means, Jeep Mods. Welcome back to the channel, guys. My name's Casey, and behind me is my 2020 Jeep Wrangler Eco Diesel. And today we're gonna be adding some new mods to the Jeep. We've got an addition to go onto our Metal Cloak Adventure Rack system. And so what that's gonna allow us to do is add an awning to the Jeep. So we're here in October. You can kind of see maybe it's gray skies. We get a lot of rain here in British Columbia and we still wanna do a bunch of camping. And so it's really nice when we get to camp to be able to have a little bit of shelter around the Jeep for cooking and getting ready and preparing for the evening. So I've wanted an awning now for a little while. We're gonna get a sweet awning on here and I'm looking forward to that. And uh, we've got all the, all the rigs here in front of the shop. Teddy from Unwinding Roads is here. Getting, getting your diff fixed. What's wrong with your truck, man? <laughs> and, we, <laughs> and we've got uh, Fluffy, uh, the Ginger's Jeep. Now has some awesome new graphics on it. And inside the shop, Sean from the story till now is here doing a bunch of work. So he's got some electrical upgrades going in. So I think we'll check all of that out in today's vlog. And it'll be a lot of fun while we're working on the Jeep, getting stuff installed. It's gonna be a great day. And then we're gonna be heading out, heading out for some adventures over the weekend. Dude, what is going into your Jeep? It looks like a spaceship in there, man. <laughs> yeah, we're actually uh, plotting out an overland trip to the moon. <laughs> uh, sponsored by Red Arc. Uh, we're doing a full power management system and a big lithium battery for uh, maximum power. Dude, this, so. th this thing looks sick. So if you guys want to check out uh, Sean's new power management system going into the trail wrecker, he's going to be posting a video up or maybe it's already up when this video goes up, but go check out the story till now and uh, you get all the details, because this is... It's a pretty cool project. This, this is, is a, like a year in the making. This is awesome. <laughs> like a year of planning and, and actually getting uh, like four or five different companies that are involved in, in the whole process. It's pretty cool. Yeah, I'm just watching Landon here program your spaceship. All right, all right. We'll let Sean and Landon work on his rig, but I'll show you guys just what we've got and what's going on the JL today. Oh boy, the Snap-on truck is here too. That's never good. All right, let's see if we can wrangle this out of here. Oh, this unit weighs a lot more than it looks like it weighs. <laughs> so this is the add-on from Adventure Rack System we're gonna be putting onto the rack and that's gonna support our awning. I'll show you guys which awning we're going with in a second. It's on? Yeah. So you don't. Nice. Brought you a step. <laughs> yeah, I've been uh, wanting a set of these for. Yeah, that's what we got on the jail. I'm always climbing up. Hardware. <laughs> awesome. So we're gonna put a set of those steps onto the trail wrecker, just like we have on the JL from uh, Metal Cloak and Adventure Rack Systems. These are really handy for climbing up and uh, getting to your rooftop tent, or if you have got cargo bins on the top. But we've got that big new bar that's gonna clamp onto the side. So this is their new design. Basically just clamps on the big two inch tube that we have. And then it's got a couple mounts on the side for our awning. Put the awning here on the driver's side and we're just gonna clamp it on up here. And I just went with a straight awning. I didn't want one of the big bat wing awnings and it's gonna come straight out the side. And then that way I've got a nice place to cook cause we've got our food. We've got our Dometic fridge hiding in the middle there underneath some merch. We'll get to that in a minute, but you know, I keep all my food here on this side. We've got our water, we've got our fridge. So I'll be able to put a table here, have a nice awning come out over top of me. It'd be, be perfect. All right, got the awning unboxed. So we went with the Rome Adventure Co. This is a six and a half foot by eight foot straight out awning. I wanted something that just basically goes out over the side of the Jeep. I didn't want an awning that swoops all the way around the back. Uh, this is a little simpler, a little more compact, and uh, has a little smaller footprint that's gonna go on the side. So we're gonna have to figure out how we're gonna bolt this on. And uh, I think we're gonna have to loosen off the rooftop tent and lift it up on one side so that we can get this new mount bolted onto the crossbars. We have a challenge. Now I know a bunch of you guys were asking me 
about the mounting system that we have on the Adventure Rack system with the Free Spirit Evolution tent. So I'll show you guys that really quick because it was a new design that Adventure Rack just came out with. But I really, really like the way that they've done this because it's super low profile. So I'll take you up top. I'm going to show you just how these go on. Okay, so the way the system works is we have our rooftop tent mounting brackets. So those would normally go over whatever cross rail you have. But what Venture Act is designed is these crossbars. And the crossbars here clamp up to the cross rail. And what we do is we put the bracket underneath like that. And then when we bolt down the crossbar, bolt the bracket onto the rooftop tent it pulls this crossbar up and sandwiches the rooftop tent onto the rails so you have no gap between your rooftop tent and the rails it sits as low profile as possible which is really cool so i know you guys were asking about this but it's basically a spreader bar that goes across that's held in place with the rooftop tent clamps and your rooftop tent is sitting on the rails okay so what we need to do is we need to get a little bit of room here oh that's heavy <laughs> I don't know how I actually did all this on my own, but we want to, we're going to put these pieces of wood underneath the rooftop tent to give us a bit of a gap so we can bolt on those, those crossbars. Okay, we got our bar here. I think we've got enough room. That should be perfect. Okay, so we had... Oh, spider on me. Uh, we had the bracket up there and mounted. We we're kind of eyeballing how we want to get the awning on there. And just the way these plates are set up, uh, we decided to take it back off. And like I said before, this is sort of like a first edition prototype. I wanted to be able to bolt the awning straight onto this bracket, which means we need to open up the uh, channel here a little bit more. There's another plate on the bottom, which has a uh, extended tab on it, which would work really well for bolting the awning on, but uh, it's on the bottom. Um, this might be better for a system that uses like a full L bracket, but because we're using a straight sliding out awning, I want to bolt it right onto the side of this bracket. I don't want to use the L brackets that came with it. Well, we are in the shop now because it's raining out and we made some larger holes in this bracket right here. So you can see the awning support now bolted right onto this bracket. And we've still got the rooftop tent temporarily jacked up on some two by fours but I think that's gonna look pretty good when we're done. And so there you can get a idea of how that sits on there now. It isn't actually sitting on an angle like it looks, it's just that's how the bag for the awning sits. So that's how it's gonna look on there. But it's just about the width of the rooftop tent. I mounted it a little bit back so I didn't want it right in front of the rooftop tent. I wanted it a bit more with the, aligned with the rear. But we are going to be able to make margaritas, right, Sean? Yes. Many margaritas? Yeah, we'll be able <laughs> the to make slushy like, ones. Yeah, um, the good ones. Maybe enough for a weekend. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's get this rooftop tent on. Looks like this weekend's camping adventure is definitely going to be a wet one. And we're going to give that awning a try for sure. Now, the other thing is that Rome awning has available a full four-sided room with floor that you can purchase extra which I didn't buy but I'm considering buying for some of this wet winter camping that we're going to be starting to do and if we're out and it's just really really terrible weather we could bring in like a little buddy heater put our table in there and hang out in there and stay nice and warm and dry see how it goes but first we'll give it a try make sure it can survive a week of wheeling because that's the true test and then we'll go from there so let's get this done and I'll show you guys what it looks like deployed dude Hoodies. Oh yes, the safety, the safety second, second camo, camo hoodies. hoodies. So you guys been asking for camo hoodies for a long time and you guys love the safety second t-shirt. So I decided to throw safety second on some black camo hoodies. Go grab one, dirtyanddangerous.com. I didn't make a lot, so don't wait around if you're thinking of grabbing one. All right, there we go. We've got the awning on, so let's pop it open and just see how it works and how much area it covers, what it looks like, how long it takes me to open it but here let's have a quick quick closer look too late oh wait we're still recording <laughs> so what we did was we did offset the rooftop tent a little bit to one side because i needed some room to get some of the latches on the driver's side of the rooftop tent 
So it's just a little bit imbalanced now, but I think, I think it still looks okay. Let me know what you guys think. But what we needed to be able to do is still get these latches right here. And if we put the rooftop tent right up against the awning, I wasn't able to get these latches. So your uh, experience may be different depending on which rooftop tent you have, if this is what you're gonna grab, but let's pop it open. So full disclaimer, I have never opened this before or used it, so you're getting an idea how long it takes with no experience. Good way to go. Whoa, whoa. Woo. Oh, I see. Extend these all the way. There we go. And then you can probably oh, lower these too? Yeah, you can unscrew and lower them. So you're gonna want this to be angled down a little bit. Yeah. There we go. So, a little finicky the first time, we had no idea what we're doing. I think definitely the key is to extend these poles off of the frame first, then put these posts in place. Seems to work pretty good. Quite a bit of coverage there. Definitely lots of room to put my table out in front. Put a chair if we have to. Uh, so we're gonna give it a test drive this weekend. Guys, we're almost at 40,000 subscribers. I'm hoping to hit 40,000 before my 40th birthday next month. So do me a favor, hit that subscribe button. Don't miss the adventures that we're gonna be out shooting this weekend. I'm gonna have a couple of vlogs coming up. Huge thanks to all the guys here at Epic Adventure Outfitters for helping out as always and let me use the shop. I appreciate it a lot. Leave a like if you enjoyed this video. I'll see you guys in the next one.